crafters it's katie the crafty crab i wanted to come online today and share this process video with you oh hello munchkin <laughs> come on down you come there we go i think it's because i haven't been filming a lot lately and uh, she's rediscovered that when i'm talking to myself on camera um it's a chance for her to find fame and fortune so <laughs> Anyway, um, so I've been wanting to make this craft for ages. It is one of these floating teacups with the flowers. Um, about a year or two years ago, I saw them everywhere. People were doing them and it's quite, kind of like an illusion craft. And I was desperate to have a go because I think they look really amazing. So I have filmed a short process video on how I have created mine and... Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it and then I'll show you the um, the final teacups at the end. So here we are, the illusion floating teacup pouring flowers. So um, there we go, if I do it from the side, you can see that the teacup looks like it's just floating there with a trail of flowers coming down. Um, I was really lucky actually, because this little teacup and saucer are super cute. And my memory is that I bought these, this from a charity shop for about a pound and it is tiny and I didn't want to, I didn't want to spend too much. And, um, 
it's also really decorative if you can see um, and you have got the kind of gold there um, and I just kept on building up these flowers just to cover everything it's a shame because you can't see the detail on the saucer but um, I am really happy with how that turned out and I just think that's just going to be a really pretty little home decoration um, so that was the first one, the tiny one and if I just show it in relation so then um, I also had this second slightly bigger cup so this this mini one is it's more like a doll's teacup. This this size is more like an espresso coffee cup. So um, this again, I think was a pound or two pound from a charity shop. And um, I think this size looks quite good. I'm not sure if I would want to have a go on a full size teacup. I think it looks quite nice being that delicate. And um, yeah, just again, we have all the leaves and then it's just smothered in um, flowers just to cover everything and inside we have that um, the flowers pouring out and there you go I am absolutely thrilled with how these have turned out um, and it wasn't really a pain I think the, the, the thing that was most difficult was using the hot glue gun to stick the spoon because working with hot glue is always a risk because uh, I always burn myself but once that had hardened and settled it was just fun just working out um, the flowers so there we go so I am going to be keeping this little one but I would like to give this to one of my subscribers so if you would like to win this it's kind of a kind of hidden giveaway um please do like this video and comment um you must be a subscriber and um i will pick a name at random at the let's say end of october so um yeah and then the lucky winner will get this obviously wrapped in a ton of bubble wrap and it will be open to international as well so um thanks for watching guys i hope that was of interest um i don't know if anyone else has seen these kind of crafts before or um how to go themselves but um let me know what you think leave a comment and uh etc and you'll be entered to win this little cutie pie thanks for watching see you next time Bye for now.